Kaczynski, as I live in wheeze. Oh, Diane. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, I... Uh, I was just getting some pork butt for my chili here. <gasps> your matching tattoo we got on our second honeymoon in Pensacola? I can see you're upset, but it's not fair to Heidi to see your name every time she's shaving my back. I'm not upset. I'm just glad there's an actual tramp in your tramp stamp now. Tony, give me all the pork butt you got. Diane, my chili. Here's your pork butt, Diane. <laughs> Chicago Party on began as a funny Twitter account. A person behind it is St. Charles native and Second City alum Chris Witoski. has been turned into a uh, adult animated comedy series. Very adult comedy series. Chris joining <laughs> us now live from Los Angeles. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Sean. That was at the Jewels, by the way, oh, just so yeah. you know. Yeah, right there at the Jewels. If you go out the <sighs> other side, you got the Asco. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, uh, you know, how did you come up with this? How did you become a middle-aged woman on Twitter? <laughs> well, it's based on a couple of my actual aunts, uh, a couple of my actual Chicago aunts. And um, I, uh, so I started in Chicago. I, I used to perform at the Second City at yeah. that theater there in Old Town. And then in 2014, I moved out to Los Angeles and I was bored out of my mind uh, in between auditions. And so I started this for fun. And then all of a sudden it kind of blew up and now it's going to, uh, it's going to stream all around the world. <laughs> a question for you. I, I've been following that account for a few years now and you tweeted at me when I started to follow you. Did we know her name before this series started? Do we know it was Diane? Or did you have we to come up with that? We came, we, just, we came up with Diane. We wanted it to be the, the most Chicago name ever, and that's how we landed on Diane Dunbrowski. <laughs> tell us about the series. Uh, how did it all come together? And tell us about some of the actors who are part of this. I'm really surprised that Bonnie Hunt is not in the cast. Bonnie's a good friend, and she wants to be in the cast. She's in line. So, um, so yeah, so basically, uh, I was doing this this as a Twitter account for since 2016, and then we pitched it to Netflix as a TV show. Me, and myself, and a bunch of other uh, Chicago creators, um, including Ike Barinholtz, his brother John, uh, my fellow Second City alumni, Katie Rich. And so... Um, Netflix liked it, they bought it, and now we, uh, we've got 16 episodes in wow. the can. Tell us about uh, I, the, the connection between comedy and Chicago is decades old now. Why is it so many either funny people are coming from Chicago or the area or come to Chicago in order to get the funny? Well, it's a great place to kind of cut your teeth. Um, it's a place where you can get better. It's a place where you can fall flat on your face and get back up and try it again. And that's how you get better. Um, I certainly did that at Second City for many, many years. I also think that um, surviving the winter in Chicago builds character, which mm -hmm. I think is good for funny, yeah. <laughs> when, we're when we're talking about uh, bringing a Twitter page to life in an animated series, what what are the challenges that you faced now you have 16 episodes done yes so the twitter you know thing was i would just fire off jokes every day and uh now with the with the series we have to turn this into you know a three-dimensional character that lives in a world um the the good thing was that we kind of somebody described it to me we we already had our homer simpson and now we just build the world around it so um it was it was it was kind of a challenge to to uh flush the whole thing out but we had a lot of fun doing it and i think we did a great job and, and one of the one of the things that you came up with you have rupaul charles uh, in the in the cast, we do. So Diane uh, on the show, she works at a hair salon called Shy City Sports Cuts and Clips. <laughs> 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 and, and then in the first episode, uh, the salon gets bought out by a New York-based salon called Burrow, and RuPaul comes in and plays her new manager at the salon. So uh, so Diane and uh, Gideon is that character's name. They're butting heads a lot throughout the show. All right, and you make your, your voice makes an appearance as well. It does. I play her uh, on again, off again, 
back on again, back off again, husband Kurt, who uh, has a beautiful push broom mustache and a, uh, a very thick Chicago accent. So not only did you do, <laughs> ha you scored a Netflix series based off of this Twitter account, you also got to do something that means you made it. You got to throw out the first pitch of the Cubs game last Dream week. Come true. Look at your you you are intense in this picture that I'm looking at. <laughs> well, because because Clark, the mascot, was keep he kept calling curveball, and I wanted to throw the heat, so I had to shake him off. And how did you do? It was a strike right down the middle. Man. And and my parents were watching, friends, family. It was fantastic. Well, they could probably use your help these days. I don't know if you've been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised the they, they didn't ask me to play a couple innings. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> thank you so much. Best of luck with your series. When you're back in Chicago, come on the show again, okay? Love it. September 17th. Check it out. I appreciate it. Yep, right there on your screen. It starts uh, streaming September 17th on Netflix, Chicago Party, and we will all be watching, my friend. Thank you very much.